So I've got another one of these welders to do a service on and check on. It's got a little bit of minor damage here in the film which covers up the display. Also notice these cables have got some witness marks on them where they've been pinched in the case. There's one there for example. You know, in here where it's been caught in this lip here where they've had the cable probably like that through the case and have closed it, that kind of thing. So these cables all got minor damage on which is quite disappointing. Um, you know, just someone not taking care. There's a nice one there. Doesn't appear to actually be cut, but the fact there's witness marks isn't good. You know, there's someone not taking care of it. Anyway, I'm taking this out, I'm taking the screws out from here, and I'm gonna take the circuit board out. I'm gonna give it a clean out as well, clean the box out because you get debris behind it and all sorts of stuff. You don't really want anything floating on the board. So I'm gonna take the board out probably to get to that back of that display just down there so I can put some tape or something across there and maybe build it up with something just to reinforce it again so it's not getting pushed down if I get it so it's sitting up higher maybe it can um, not be susceptible to damage I just want to try and get it waterproof again basically just put some tape underneath it so I hope I can do it from the other side without too much trouble but uh, yeah, so I have to get a nut driver on this, take this board out. It shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to take out the case first and clean the case out and get the case out of the way. And you see the debris floating around this side there. You don't really want that. Getting in there, could get some bits of metal, all, all kinds of stuff. Who knows what's in there? Yeah. Well, I've lifted the board out and there's a lot of dust and stuff on here. And there's also a lot of debris even around that window there. And then this flex, where the flex goes through here. This flex is for the LEDs and the push buttons on the front panel. So yeah, it's been got getting a lot of stuff sitting in there, and yeah, it's definitely needs to go clean. So anyway, I've got enough space here to actually put some tape over that completely to protect that. So that's good. And I have to see what I can do about maybe lifting this up a little bit because it does just plug in. Um, I don't know. It's not really yeah. There's not really much there for that though. So I have to see if I can do something to bring it out to make it support that. I have to see. So I've got some of this film, which is meant for doing displays and stuff. So it's not particularly thick, but I'm going to cut up some out and put it in there. It might just help it very slightly. At the very least, it'll help protect the display. So it's the ball back in again. So it's at least watertight again now. So not like it really matters with the outside being like it is, but it can get rained on, splashed on, that kind of stuff. You know, when it's being worked on because it's used outside. So don't any water ingress straight into the electronics, at least from here it's just going to be into the casing, not directly onto the control circuitry, so you know I'm a bit happy about that. Now next thing I'll do is test it out and see if it actually works. Well I've got my test rig set up here, 20 ohm resistor which simulates the fittings this is used on. This is set up for AC volts, it's actually this manual range it so we can get a faster readout. We'll turn this on. detected a fitting okay well let's just push start and see if we get 100 volts here like we're supposed to we do look at that 100.7 cool that's working correctly so if I disconnect the fitting that registers it's disconnected if I try and weld that's fine so that looks like it's working fine right let's set my finished that can go back a few moments later and I've got another one this one needs a bit of a check over the cords pulled out so now I'm going to open it up and check all the inside make sure the wiring's okay yeah the fact that they were using it like that's not great is it considering it's really easy to fix you just basically loosen the gland off and shove it back in anyway screws taken out cables all really tight because of this actually this gland is spinning anyway yeah so I did, it was a little bit tight when I went to go and move it, then it moved. So, yeah, if someone was taking care, they could have done it. There we go. Just make sure that all this cabling and stuff is okay inside here. Then we'll test it. So, the cabling comes up here, it's got this insulation here, just precaution. Make sure the cables are in there nice and firmly. These are like spring clips, they push in and they lock them. There's no screws, they all look okay. No issues there, cool. So it's just sorting this gland out. 
I'll leave some slack inside the box as well so if it happens again at least you've got a chance to catch it yeah anyway I sort that out then we'll test it right it's back together let's turn it on okay self test looking good it's got a fitting there it's detected a fitting let's try it 100 point oh, 101 volts cool that's working all right too excellent easy fix